Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and today I just wanted to take you along while I did some things that I do on occasion. Uh, sometimes when life feels a little overwhelming or stressful, when situations come about that we really don't have control over, whether it's in our house, our community, or nationally, internationally, sometimes I get overwhelmed. I can't speak for anyone else, but I get overwhelmed, especially when there's not much I can really do for the large equation of what's going on. So I wanted to take you along with some of the things that I like to do that I do have control over. Sometimes I really do get to thinking a little too much and I get into my head about the way of the world. And like I said, things I can't control, but the things I can control are within the walls of my home and to some extent my community here where I live. So what we typically like to do on a regular basis, we like to donate soda tabs to the Ronald McDonald House. We have one over in Augusta, Georgia. We like to donate food to the blessing boxes. There are a few of them around our city. And we also like to donate books to the Little Free Library. Our favorite one is located at a park that we like to go to often. Um, Something else that always, always comes to mind when I think about how can I make a difference is within the walls of my home, I always think about food. I love to eat and I love to feed my family. And today, today is Sunday, July 14th as I'm filming. And when it's Sunday, I usually think about making bread, even though that's not a part of my routine at all. I didn't grow up having homemade bread baked on Sunday, but for some reason, I think about that on Sundays. However, it is, it is so hot outside, I cannot turn on my oven. So instead, together we're gonna to make a grinder salad, which is something that's been on my to-do list for quite a while. They always look so delicious and they're so popular all over the internet. I've never made one, but today's the day. So I'm gonna take you along, show you some footage of what we did today, and I'll see you back when we're all done running around town. The kids and I are about to head out and run some errands, but I wanted to show you really quick this outfit of the day, which is not something I typically do because um, I just like to wear things that are comfortable without a lot of fuss. But anyway, this dress, it's an athletic dress. I ordered it from Amazon and I will link it down below. Let me see if I can show you the back. I can't, I can't see you. Hopefully you can see that. It has shorts underneath. And we were just, like I said, we we're just getting ready to head out the door. And I was like, the only thing that would make this perfect is if it had pockets. And I was like, let me check. And you guys, these shorts have pockets underneath. Isn't that awesome? I think it was so cute. It's a really cute fit. It fits so well. Y'all forgive this. Our bar fell off the wall. We've got to repair that this week. But um, anyway, it's a super cute fit. It's comfortable. It's got a built-in bra and shorts underneath. The back is cute, like I said. Hopefully you can see. But I just wanted to share it with you and I will link it down below. I don't have an affiliate link or anything, but if you want to shop this look, I will drop it in the description box. And you know, like I said, it came from Amazon. No fuss, super easy, super cute. It's so comfortable and I just love it. All right, our first stop today is to this blessing box at a local church. And um, it's totally empty. It's got a little bit of um, a few books in here, but the way that this works is you leave what you can and take what you want. Food Our and candy breed. bread. Bread. So usually people will put food or personal care items in the blessing boxes. Or books. And sometimes books. Today we have some personal care items as well as some food items. And we don't have a whole lot today, but um, we're happy to leave what we're able. Cheese. All right. I'm actually really surprised to see this be totally empty, but I'm glad we were able to leave what we could. Some wipes, a little bit of food. Our next stop is going to be down to the Ronald McDonald House over in Augusta, Georgia, which is which is pretty close to where we live. And so Robbie and I are gonna drive over. They have a 
pop tab program. In our family, in our homeschool, one of the ways that we give back is by collecting soda tabs. And at the end of the year or towards the beginning of the new school year, we will bring them to the Ronald McDonald House and, and uh, give them to them for their program. And that's one of the ways that they raise money for their organization. I will add a link to that program down below. If you didn't know about it, it's such an easy way to give back. Lots and lots of people drink drinks that have tabs. And a lot of our friends and family collect along with us. So anyway, it's just an easy way to give back. Another way we like to give back is by donating to the Little Free Library. We have a few of them local in our city. We just go through our bookshelves and kind of declutter and we leave them in the Little Free Library so that other kids or people can enjoy them. You don't have to just put children's books. You can put all kinds of books, but we have mostly children's books here today. Brandon's grandma went through her books and passed these to us to put in the Little Free Library and then we went through our shelves and found a few as well. All right, Little Free Library. There's not many books in here. Not many books, but we're gonna fill it a little bit at least. A lot. All right, got her filled up. And these books always go so fast. All right, well that's that. It is so hot outside. Get back to the air conditioner. All right, we're downtown Augusta at the Ronald McDonald House, and it is so hot outside, isn't it, Robbie? <laughs> it is currently 96 degrees outside, and it is we are sweating. But we're gonna do this one last drop, and then we're gonna go run it. Then we're gonna run to the grocery store to pick up a few things. We're gonna go to Kroger. We're going to Kroger. Some donuts. Oh, Robbie requested donuts, so we're oh. gonna get some from Kroger. <laughs> All right, here at the Ronald McDonald House in Augusta, Georgia. And we thought this one was locked. It's not, but that one is. Can't we? And we put them through here. All right, take a minute. Let's do this one first. We can just leave that jug, probably. Maybe we'll just leave the jug. Just put it in here. Oh, you can. Well, you can put, just set it in there. Yes. Yes. Just that. I'm doing the last bag. I'm going to do the last bag. Okay. You have a little coffee. It's yeah. just a tap. I know. A little coffee. Okay. All like right. It. Come on. Very good. salad I couldn't find the actual recipe just a list of ingredients with the measurements so I'm just going to chop and measure and combine it all together and here's what we've got I found these baby iceberg lettuces at Kroger today I thought they were so cute and it was the best looking iceberg lettuce they had so I went ahead and picked those up I also went on and chopped up these Brussels sprouts it's not quite two cups like the recipe asked for but the Brussels sprouts weren't looking so hot, so I just chopped up the ones that look good in this food chopper. The recipe also calls for salami, deli ham, provolone cheese, but I don't have deli ham. I went ahead and picked up this Italian trio today from while I was at Kroger and it's salami, pepperoni, and provolone cheese. So I'm gonna use those. It also calls for a red onion, Sliced up pepperoncinis, also grape tomatoes, and red pepper flakes. Most of this I already had at home. I'm also going to add olives because I like them on my sandwiches too. And I'm going to add a few banana pepper rings because I really like those on sandwiches too. Alright, for the dressing it calls for mayonnaise, red wine vinegar, 
kosher salt and black pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic, and then I'll need to use a little bit of the liquid from this pepperoncini jar, as well as Parmesan cheese. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this Brussels sprouts into this bowl. I tried to do salami in this chopper and it did not work well. So I'm gonna chop the meat and cheese by hand and just do the best I can. I really wanted everything to be uniform and the same size, but it's okay. We'll just Sometimes you just gotta do the best you can. You know what I mean? Next, we're gonna go with a half a cup of red onion. I think that's gonna be about the size of this whole onion. It's kind of a smallish onion. So I'm gonna chop the whole thing. Pepperoncinis, which I really enjoy. Oh, yeah, they'll go in there. Oh my gosh. That juice just went everywhere. <laughs> Gross. Okay. I think that's gonna do it for our pepperoncinis. And for the olives, I'm just gonna do, I don't know, one of those, maybe two, like I'll fill up this tray twice. It looks pretty good. And I think I'm actually going to skip, I'm gonna actually skip the banana peppers this time. I can always add them on top of the salad when I eat it if I want to. A 
Look at how pretty this looks. I'm gonna go ahead and add this crushed red pepper and I'm just gonna sprinkle some on. There's no measurement and I don't want it too spicy, but I do like a little bit of heat. Okay. This looks so good. Remember it's got the iceberg lettuce underneath and the Brussels sprouts chopped as well. Mm. I think I'm gonna put you on top of this pot to see if I can get myself in the frame today, not just show what I'm doing with my hands. Can you see me? Okay, here we go. We're gonna make the dressing. So, and I'm kind of going to eyeball, I'm kind of gonna eyeball this a little bit. All right, so you might not see me the whole time, but I'll try my best. For the dressing part here, we're gonna use one cup of mayonnaise. We like to use the chosen brand with the avocado oil mayonnaise. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it a little bit, which is how I typically cook anyway, if you're new here. Of course, you could use any mayonnaise that you like. Next, we need one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We need one teaspoon of kosher salt, and that's what I have in my little salt dish here. I need to refill it. And we need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Next, we need a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. two teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm gonna do two cloves. Oh, this garlic smells so good. I am really excited to try this recipe. Like I said, I've been wanting to make this for a long time. Next, we need three tablespoons of the pepperoncini pepper liquid. So I'm gonna measure that out. we need a half a cup of grated Parmesan. I just have this shredded. I think it's going to be just fine. Okay, we're going to combine all these ingredients together. Oh my gosh, this smells just like a really good sub shop. It really does. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. All right, we've got our salad. I'm gonna pour this dressing right over top. A little side note, if you will. I got a couple of surprise packages in the mail. I got this jar opener to open like um, mason jars that are sealed. I'm so surprised to receive it and I'm definitely gonna use it. I'm always talking about how I need to order one and it came in the mail. And also I received this set of spurtles. Now these came from a viewer, but she happens to be my mom too. So she knows my address, but how nice were these and how thoughtful was that? So I'm gonna use one today. Let's see how it does. A little paddle toss here. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is like, a, this mixes really nicely. <laughs> mm. 
This is so beautiful. I know I'm going to enjoy this for a couple of days this week and probably my our oldest daughter, Olivia, probably will as well. She works a nine to five and loves to prep ahead lunch and salads are one of our favorite things to prep. So I know she'll be excited to enjoy this as well. I don't know if I'm regretting not putting in the banana peppers now. I think it's gonna be really good. And like I said, I can add them if I want to when I serve it up. Wow, this looks so good. This mixes so nicely. I'm actually really impressed with it. I didn't know like if it would, I didn't know what the big deal would be, but, and it's not life changing, but it just does a really nice job. So thank you, mom. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to chill it in the fridge for a little while, but I kind of want to go ahead and taste it so I can tell you what it's like. So let me get a bowl. This bowl says yum, and I have a feeling that that's going to be the right word for this salad. All right, bon appetit. Mm-hmm. The flavor is so good. I'm trying to decide what it is that's like the strongest. Hold on. Let me take another bite. Um, I do not regret adding the black olives. If you like black olives, you would probably love them in here as well. This is so tasty. It is just, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. It's so good. So anyway, I will, I'll post a screenshot of this um, recipe so you can make it if you want to. Mm. You know what I think I'm picking up a lot of in the flavor is the pepperoncini juice from the jar. It is delightful. It is so good. And I know sometimes when I use this to make the Mississippi pot roast, if I've added too much, the dish gets too spicy, but this is just right. I wouldn't say it's spicy at all. It's just flavorful. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. And the Brussels sprouts, they give a really, really good crunch texture to the lettuce. That is really good. I'm impressed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, tagging along with Robbie and me as we headed out around town to do some giving back. And I have zero regrets about making this salad. It is so good and I hope that you will make it too. It is delicious and I love that it did not require an oven because like I said, it's so hot outside. Anyway, thank you so much for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. If you would kindly give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.